What's up guys, I'm River60, one of the community managers for Project Hatchet Studios, and I'm here to talk about the flight model update in build 0.5.1 for the H60 mod for Arma 3, dubbed SFM+. In this video, we will go over what SFM Plus is and what the flight model currently simulates. There's a lot to talk about for this flight model, and because of that, I will be turning this into a short video series where each video will cover a specific element of SFM Plus, as well as periodic updates to the model as they come out. If you have any questions, I will try to respond to comments, but the best way to get questions answered is to join the project Discord link below, as it contains plenty of other people knowledgeable about the mod and can answer a lot quicker. All right, so what is SFM Plus? First of all, if you are not aware, Arma 3 has two options when it comes to helicopter flight models in game. You have a simple flight model or SFM and an advanced model or AFM. These models can be changed in your game options in the pause menu. I won't dive too deep into the differences between the two flight models, but what you do need to know in this context is that SFM is a very arcadey style flight model while AFM attempts to simulate more real-life elements involved in rotary wing flight, things like rotor RPM and aircraft weight and balance. From a technical standpoint, SFM offers a lot more flexibility for us to customize it the way we want, whereas AFM is a lot more restrictive in the things we can change about it. While this is the first iteration of SFM Plus in the 60, it actually made its debut in the Apache Longbow Project mod for Arma 3 which is a very high fidelity AH-64 mod that features a clickable cockpit and realistic weapon systems. Our development teams have a very close working relationship and you should definitely check them out. Links will also be down below. Moving on, SFM Plus is simply taking the simple flight model and customizing our own parameters to make it emulate real life aircraft characteristics. Through a bunch of scripting magic by people much smarter than me, we can simulate things like the engine parameters you see before you here. as well as the handling characteristics of the aircraft while in flight. With these engine parameters accurately simulated, we can enforce things like actual weight limitations that affect the aircraft performance, adding an extra layer of realism to ARMA flying. SFM Plus will also bring certain planning considerations to the aviation mission, like you have the power available to take 11 passengers with a full fuel tank in the back and a sling load underneath, for example. Although, keep in mind, in this build, currently, sling loads are not calculated in the model. Now that we know what SFM Plus is, let's talk about what is actually in this build that you need to know. Build 0.5.1 currently only has two simulated characteristics of the helicopter, which are the horizontal stabilator and engine torque, annotated on the ECAS as Q, as well as on the power pod with these two outside bars with Q above them. First, Let's go over the horizontal stabilator, or STABE, for short. While the stabilator has a few real-world characteristics that I could explain, I'm just going to provide a general overview of what it does and how you can use it in the context of ARMA. The purpose of the stabilator is to enhance handling qualities in the pitch axis in forward flight. The STABE automatically adjusts its position based on airspeed and collective positioning. When the STABE is trimmed properly, the aircraft is able to maintain a nose-down attitude to keep its forward velocity with minimal input from the pilot on the controls. You can configure the stabilator simulation based on your setup and general flying skill. In your add-on options, scroll all the way down to UH-60 mic. Once that's open, scroll all the way down until you see Enable Stabilator Simulation and there will be a drop-down with three options. You have the option of Always Enabled, which enables joystick mode and keyboard mode, Joystick only, which disables keyboard mode, and always disabled, which disables the simulation entirely, and it will fly closer to what SFM users are used to. Joystick only is selected by default, but for the stabilator demonstration video, I will be flying in a mouse and keyboard configuration. AFM users should be aware that they will have no stabilator simulation available to them. This completes the introduction to SFM Plus for build 0.5.1 of the H60 mod for Arma 3. In the next couple of videos, we'll be going into live demonstrations of the stabilator and its different modes as well as talking about engine torque and its limitations. If you're enjoying the series so far, leave a like and comment below. Let me know what I'm doing well and what else I can improve on. If you would like a full list of the changes in this update, you can read the change log on our Steam Workshop page or it will be posted in our Discord both of which are linked below. 
Now on that note, let's get to the flight line and learn some swoopy stuff. You're watching River 60, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya!